Okay. So, one of the things I get asked a lot, uh, every time I do a live painting demo or I do a uh, tutorial or even a lot of times when I paint on Twitch, is I get asked how to prep the surface. So I thought I'd do a really quick tutorial video on that um, using this canvas. Now this is, this canvas is actually a pre-prepped canvas, which I personally buy these because it saves me a lot of time, but it's the, uh, this is from dickblick.com, uh, Blick Art, but it's a Blick Premier stretch canvas gallery profile. So what's cool about this is this is a uh, 10 ounce canvas that's super heavy duty. Uh, which I like a lot, and ignore that painting behind there, pretend you don't see it. And then this is, uh, this is really what I like about it, is I like the construction, how it's built. So this is uh, pretty, you know, heavy duty uh, construction. I like a lot of times you'll see canvases that are just wrapped over and stapled along the wood. And those are fine, but um, uh, they tend to give way after time and the, the canvas can actually start getting a little floppy. And I'm not really a big fan of that. Uh, I like having, you know, more rigid, heavy duty. So these are pretty affordable. So that's why I get them. Uh, I like them a lot. And they come with a pretty good surface on them already. So, uh, which is kind of cool. Now, one of the things you want to do is it's actually recommended that you wet your surface a little bit. So I'm just, I use a spray bottle. A lot of people mix water into the medium. And then in this case, we're using a big honking brush. So this is the type of brush that would have made Bob Ross sweat. So anyways, now you notice this is off a little bit. And the reason is, is it's got an original, the, uh, I've got gesso in here. And this gesso is essentially, it's just the, again, it's a Dick Blick material from uh, Blick Art. Let me show that to you really fast. But it's basically just this. It's the Blick Professional White Gesso. I buy it by the gallon because I paint a lot. Uh, but essentially all this is, is think of this as super titanium white. It's a very high density uh, titanium oxide. Uh, I think it's titanium oxide. It says on the bottle. So let's see. Yep, titanium dioxide, my apologies. So it's basically titanium dioxide. So it's just the same thing as your titanium white paint, just with a significantly more uh, titanium in it. And uh, what that's for is the, the base and everything is still polymer. It's basically, it's just a polymer stuff. So it's just the same thing as your matte medium. It's just the binder that's used in acrylic paint. It used to be back in the day, they would mix uh, like chalks and all kinds of stuff into the gesso, but it's not really needed anymore. Uh, technology's caught up. I just keep spreading this out. Now the reason this is uh, a different color, it's not the titanium weight, is because I actually mixed in a little dab of uh, quindacrinoline gold and uh, it's Holbein quindacrinoline gold and also some burnt sienna. And I did that because the painting I'm going to do on this is going to be a desert scene. And so I, I wanted to give it a nice warm layer to start with. A lot of times I start with white. Sometimes I start with whatever the, you know, kind of whatever the mood of the piece I'm working on is. I just slap this on really thick and spread it out. Pardon my fat ass in the camera, but it's a big canvas. Let me down this way a little more. Now the water is actually just kind of a, a release agent. Oops, Gotta, I forgot to flop my brush before I started doing this. I normally uh, smack the brush around pretty hard before I start doing this to get any loose bristles that may have loosened from the last cleaning. Or you just, you know, spend the money and get a better quality brush. That works too. Let me just 
give this a really good slather on here. And you see I'm putting it on pretty heavy. Get those off there. And the reason I'm putting it on so heavy is uh, because I don't want, I personally don't want all this canvas texture, uh, quite so much of it is what I'm going to end up with uh, if I didn't do this. So put it on pretty heavy. The water's kind of a releasing agent, so if it starts sticking as you're prepping your surface. And you can actually mix water into this as well. It is uh, a water mixable material. And if you're doing multiple coats, you definitely want to make sure, especially on raw canvas, you want to make sure that before you uh, put the multiple coats on, the very first coat, you do want to actually mix some water in with it. And the reason is, is that actually allows the, uh, allows the binder and the titanium, the binder in particular to actually seep into the canvas and it grabs hold of it. It's because you don't want it to peel off after you've started painting it and you hang it and, you know, sell it to somebody. And then a couple years later, it starts to peel off because the uh, your surface prep didn't grab onto the canvas. And just again, slather it on nice and thick. You can actually see how tough that got as far as it was kind of grabbing the brush and not letting go. And just that little spritz of water actually let it go. Helped release it a bit. So same thing here, it's a little dry. Suddenly it just moves really smooth. And that's how you paint a canvas one color. <laughs> so this is uh, just surface prep. Now, if you're going to do multiple coats, the other thing you want to do is, uh, after you're done, make sure you sand this down a little bit. You don't have to sand it down too much, but enough to try and give it a nice smooth surface. So even without me doing multiple coats, uh, that's actually why I buy the pre-prepped canvas, is I want multiple coats, but I want more than what the pre-prepped canvas gives me. But I also don't want to sit here and spend all my time prepping canvases. You know, I'm a professional artist, I got shit to do. And unfortunately, I'm, uh, I don't have the, you know, in-house assistants to go prep my canvases for me yet. Someday, maybe I'll be that cool. And there we go. So now I'm actually going to hit it again. And this is actually, now I'm just trying to smooth out some of the lines. Quick, gentle strokes. And now I'll let this dry for 24 hours. And it's ready for me to go back and I'll do my, uh, I'll, it'll dry for 24 hours, I'll sand it, pat it down with a little bit of, uh, with a wet microfiber cloth. And then it's ready for me to do my sketch on. And then I can go to oil paints on that after that. So that's how you prep canvas, quick and easy. Now you can also use the same techniques on uh, board. Um, I use also a lot of hardboard, but when I get to the larger sizes like this, anything above 18 by 24, certainly anything above 24 by 36, I prefer to switch over to canvas just because the boards start getting really heavy and hard to haul. Anyways, I hope that helps you guys out. And uh, follow me on Twitch, uh, twitch.tv slash KOHSE art. And uh, you can actually watch me paint live there several days out of the week. Thanks. Nice.